another lecture in the series of transducers, ultrasound transducers, also known as probes, scan heads, or scanners. This series discussing the basic components of the transducers, the non-imaging transducers, and imaging transducers. And here in this part, we are discussing the imaging transducers. And we have the mechanical and annular array, one, one group, array 1D transducers, like the face array, linear array, curvilinear, and tightly curved array. And the array 1.5 one, one or 1.5D transducers, also array 2D transducers. And lastly, we'll discuss the 3D and 4D imaging transducers or techniques. So we are having now the mechanical and the annular array transducers. Why these two probes, the mechanical transducer and the annular phase array transducers are grouped together in this discussion? Because both are having uh, steered mechanically. So they are both steered mechanically and both are no longer in the market. Why? Because this mechanical steering by the electric motor is subject of many times of drop downs and that's why it is not a good thing to scan and suddenly the probe is what you are working with is stopped. So these are the, uh, I'd like to discuss these transducers in the point of what are the active elements, uh, the number, okay, and how they are arranged, what is the kind of steering, and other points to discuss how, how the image looks like and several points to discuss. So we'll start with the mechanical transducer. The, the element or the, or the uh, active element is a single coin shaped element and is mounted on a wheel. And this wheel is driven by an electric motor. Like here, this example here, this is the transducer and there's electric motor here and there is a wheel at the bottom here, and this wheel has the element, active element, at this point. So if I put here, this is the active element. This is the wheel, this is the electric motor. So active element is a single, single one, coin shape, mounted on a wheel that is driven by electric motor. When it comes to the uh, uh, annular phase array, the active elements are actually in, in, the, in the shape of uh, rings. So they are uh, coaxial rings. Usually they are five in number. And as we see here, I put them in different, uh, different colors. So you see here, coaxial means they are sharing the same axis in the middle, right? And they are, all of them are mounted in the same wheel like here. So there's here electric motor and there is a wheel. And on top of the wheel here mounted is this active element. Active element is a complex of five active elements arranged in a coaxial pattern, right? So steering, again, mechanical because of this electric motor. And as I mentioned earlier, that this electric motor is subject to many times of drop down times. So yeah, while you are scanning, suddenly the electric motor stops. And this is not a good thing. When you come to focusing, focusing is different. Different between the mechanical, mechanical transducer, and the annular phase size. Both are different, okay? So in the mechanical transducer, when you talk about focusing, we talk about focusing for the lateral resolution and focusing for the elevational resolution. Lateral resolution, this is the beam diameter. Foc the elevational resolution is the slice thickness of the sound beam. So both are talking about the sound beam, okay? So sound beam for the lateral resolution and sound beam for the elevation resolution. How this is focused during in the mechanical transducer. Mechanical transducer, we have focusing as acoustic lens or curved PCT, and these two methods are mechanical focusing. So this is example of the uh, uh, adding an acoustic lens or cutting the PCT in a, in a curved pattern. Both will bring me a single focal point and is fixed in position. I cannot move it shallower or deeper, and it's only a single focal point. So this is here example of the mechanical focusing 
for the elevate for the uh, lighter resolution when you come to the elevation resolution which is the thickness of the sound beam the thickness here is the same as the diameter why because the diameter is side to side thickness is from front to back and both are uh, the same why because the sound beam here is more or less as a center a cylinder but has a narrower point which is the focal point now we come to the annular phase array transverse annular phase array transverse <coughs> the lateral resolution is focused via the electronic electronic why we call it electronic because we have different diameters of the active elements here active elements as we mentioned earlier we have coaxial active elements they are having like rings with the same axis so these rings are having different diameters the outer one is a wider diameter compared to the most inner one which is the smallest diameter as we studied the sound beam before the wider diameter is associated with deeper focus the small diameter is associated with shallower focus so according to this if i have different diameters i will get different focal points and that's why you call it electronic they are multiple focal points but are they adjustable no i cannot make them shallower or deeper but they are multiple right so this is for the lateral resolution how about the elevational the slight thickness again is the same right why you call it the same because the, the scan line or the sound beam here is actually a, looks like a cylinder the diameter and the thickness are the same so again as we see here we have the same lateral resolution as, and the same uh, elevation resolution they are equally uh, the same so uh, when it comes to the uh, the the best i mean the best advantage of the annual phase array is what okay annual phase array transducer they were famous for having the best elevation resolution why because different focal focal points here it will bring me uh, different focal points for the uh, slice thickness and this will bring me the best actual the best uh, uh, slice thickness image at, at that time the time when they were using the uh, annular phase array again like i mentioned earlier that is no longer in market when you come to the image shape both transducers are having a sector image shape a sector sometimes called the fan shape or triangular or wedge shaped image okay uh, the only difference that in the uh, in the mechanical transducer and the annular phase array transducer that the mechanical transducer has one focal point the annular transducer have multiple focal points right but both are having the same sector shaped image the uh, what happened if i'm having this image uh, this pct or this annular this uh, active element is damaged i will go no image at all but if it happened here one of these active elements is damaged i will get a transverse horizontal line that drop out line so there's a drop out line that runs from side to side of the image that is coinciding with the focal point that is being uh, affected why because i'm having one of the pct one of the active elements is damaged so now we come to the applications both are used in what okay both are used in all the applications that were available at that time so we have if i'm using lower frequency active elements they were used in the abdomen and OBGYN scanning uh, if we are using uh, another uh, probe that is using a, a, low, a higher frequency active element that it could be used in the vascular scan so this is the based on the frequency we get uh, two or more probes based on their frequencies and this will give me different applications right so in the annular phase array it's the same principle that if you are having lower frequency elements that can be used in abdomen and OBGYN if we are using higher frequency elements that could be used in the uh, vascular or uh, small parts what is the difference then this one is getting a better image of course because we have multiple multiple focal points that will give me a better act a better uh, diameter that is give, giving me a better lateral resolution because we have 
multiple focal points, and also is better in the uh, elevation and resolution or the thickness, slide thickness. Why? Because I'm having multiple focal points for the slide thickness too. And that's why that was the best, resolu the best resolution at that time. Thank you, and I hope that was beneficial. Now we go to the another lecture.